So here's some really exciting news. Steel girl is in the nest. Hopefully that means she's breeding him. These two, um, somebody had diarrhea and they weren't doing anything. But now they seem to be moving closer to each other and the diarrhea is gone. Well, it's getting better anyway. Um, one of the reasons I feed on the white paper plate is so that I can see what poops look like. And those are getting firmer and less watery every time. So I think it's the male. I think he's not feeling quite well, but he's on the mend. Um, these two have been mating and in and out of the box for a long time, but I still haven't really caught her sitting. So when the hen disappears, you know you're three to four days out from the first egg. That's when she doesn't pop out the minute she hears me come. Because she's gotten really broody. Because she's going to drop an egg. This girl has been breeding with him and carrying on for the longest time, but I've never seen her stay in the nest. I kind of had them down for first egg, but I think maybe not. This girl in here, now these are a pair that I'm hoping to get the second pie out of. She was a little underweight when I put her in there, and I was kind of worried about it. But I caught her yesterday, and in less than a week, she's really filled out. So... I don't know, she seems fine, and they are, as you can see, having a discussion. She's in and out of the box quite a bit. She says, why are you looking at my box? Or is she going to go back in? Now, these two have been doing Crazy Girl, and I finally figured out that the boy was spending all his time hanging off the ceiling of the cage because he had two along the, top, the back top of it and was flirting with the next-door neighbor. So I pulled the cardboard up above the edge of the cage so he can't reach the top of it to chew on it so he just has a flat surface that he can't break through and now all of a sudden he's sitting on the perch and looking at the girl that he has instead of the girl that's next door and they seem to be calming down so um it pretty much never fails that every breeding season one of my videos gets fed to someone that's never seen it before and writes me an, an impassioned comment. Oh look, she's in the nest too. And I have seen these two talking. This is Asher and Minty. And I have seen these two having a discussion. So hopefully they are breeding. There's a lot of birds you never know. But anyway, somebody sends me an impassioned message about how they need toys and, and you have to do this and that for them because they haven't seen any of my other videos and they have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, I completely disagree that they need toys when they're in breeding. They have so many challenges to deal with at this point. They have to establish themselves with a mate. They have to establish a territory. They have to breed. Then the male spends all of his time feeding the hen and the hen goes into kind of a stupor state. Um, when she goes into broodiness, so she's not interested in playing anyway. And then the chicks hatch, and then the real work begins. So there's that, this, when they're out in their flight cages, which they're in these cages for about 10 weeks when they breed, the rest of their lives they spend out in the flight cages, and I do have toys out there. I have ropes strung across each cage, and I hang toys off of them. Not to mention living with a whole flock of other birds, which is a natural state for them. So... Um, and the whole, you have to give them vegetables. I'm like, yeah, watch another video. <laughs> so, um, anyway, it's kind of cute though. I like it that people care about the birds and stuff. So, um, so she's in the box and I was worried about him. Oh, there she is. Samrock. She's been in the box since yesterday. Um, and I was worried that he wasn't going to be breeding her, but a lot of hens, now, some hens will go in the box and lay in spite of not being bred. But she's an, but usually that's first timer. And she's an experienced mom. She was with um, um, Dolorite, the pied male last time. Um, the dominant pied. And gave me two beautiful babies. Um, and he was kind of a one and done. I've been hanging on to him for a long time to get the good babies out of him. And I finally got them. So he went off. But she's a high quality hen, so she stays. So, um, being an experienced hen, it is unlikely that she will go to nest if she has not been bred. Which is nice. Oh, look. See how they go over there and talk to their girl. She sits out in front of the nest, talks to her. He'll go eat and bring her some food. Um, these two also were, um, this is my golden faced cock and his pretty little opaline hen. 
They were also distracted by the neighbors and doing Crazy Bird. And the reason I do Crazy Bird is because they are accustomed to living in a giant flight cage. But it's the most humane possible thing to do when you're breeding them to separate them because the fighting and the blood and the gore that goes on if you try and community breed them is terrible. Whereas with this, they're very safe. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's a situation that is much easier to control for their benefit. So, But they do do Crazy Bird for a little while because they're getting used to living in a cage that's a lot smaller than their regular life. But they get over it in about a week because they get busy. Hormones shift and they start thinking in terms of making babies instead of flying around a lot. And they can spread their wings and catch air in this cage so they can exercise. It's obviously not like full flight, but um, it does keep them healthy. <clears throat> so these two are just sitting there. I think she was in the wrong part of her cycle because her sear is smooth but brown. So we're kind of waiting for her to come back around again. They love each other dearly. They kiss kiss all day, but I'm not at all sure she's been in this box, which would indicate a lack of hormone drive. So we're just waiting for her to cycle back around. Same thing here. She has the mahogany sear. Um, she's um, Astrid the blue hen. She has a ma smooth mahogany sear of a hen in late stage. Um, I see a little white coming in around the edges. So this is a bonded pair and they love each other, but there just is not a lot happening. Oh look, there's grass in there. Somebody's been in to visit, but they're taking their time because I put them when she was at the wrong time. These two are bonding. This is Murphy and Huckleberry. I forgot her name. Her father's Bear Grylls. And I looked up Bear Grylls to see who, what his daughter's names were. And he doesn't have any daughters. But he has a son named Huckleberry. And I thought, eh, it works. So first year is just about in the right spot. And um, Murphy is definitely over here trying to get her to go in. But I don't see her going in just yet. They're taking their time. So... That's the update. No eggs, but I expect eggs from this girl. This is Loren and Blue Morpho. And this girl, this is Minty and Asher. And this girl, this is um, Zephyr and Shamrock. Um, who else? This girl has been in and out a lot, but I don't think she's in. I'm still thinking I'm going to get some eggs out of um, Charlie and... She doesn't have a name yet. She has to lay an egg before she gets a name. Um, and neither one of these two have named. <clears throat> and of course, Steel and that would be uh, Serena, I think. Selena. I have to look it up. Um, because those hands are in nests. So things are, are moving along. I expect a first egg in the next three days. Okay. Oh, and the fosters are over here loving, um, so these are the, the two sets of fosters that I kept. I'm cutting down my flock, so I cut down my fosters too. Um, and they are going to be activated this time for all of those recessive pied wannabes. Um, but because these are extremely, um, bonded pairs, they've been living together for three years, um, and they're well-established pairs, they go to work immediately when I put nest boxes on the cage. So I'm gonna wait until um, I get eggs from the birds that I actually want to see them fostering, which is the recessive pies. So um, we'll see what happens. Okay, you guys, Kenny Loggins, time to get a bit to work. Miss thing. <laughs>